Imagine unboxing your new iPhone only to find out Apple's blocked it because it's too outdated. Well, that's exactly what happened to Josh from the YouTube channel 91 Tech. He brought a sealed iPhone 6S for his collection only to find out he's not able to use it. It was in an unused condition, new old stock with the plastic still on. In fact, it had remained sealed for so long he had to replace the battery to get it going. So why can't he use it? Simply put, Apple won't let him stating activation could not be completed. But Josh's case isn't unique. This exact issue has been happening to many iPhone 6S phones. And Apple hasn't told anyone why. Apple's iOS devices and silicone Macs require contacting Apple in order to be used in a process called activation. During the activation process, the device requests an activation ticket. Certain conditions must be met for the device to receive its specific ticket. For example, it can't be linked to a previous iCloud account or have the wrong SIM if the phone is SIM locked. Each ticket is device and iOS version specific, meaning you can't just make one up yourself. The problem is, it's server-based. You rely on the remote servers to be maintained and work in your favour. Thankfully, Josh's was in an out-of-box state. Because even devices that are fully working can all of a sudden reboot to this screen locking you out of your device and all its content, like photos and apps. You can find loads of people asking for help online, some as far back as 2018, others posted in the last hour. This poor bloke was trying to get his photos from his old phone when it locked up. The phone would rather you reset an update rather than access your own photos. This happens as the phone constantly pings home to check its activation status. As it's no longer allowed, it would freak out and go back to the setup screen. In this state, you can't even back up the phone. Josh sent a screenshot of what happens when he plugs his phone in. Just another message telling you to reset the phone and update. This issue originates with the phone running iOS 9, hence why Josh's new phone is affected. But what's going on? I've covered tactics such as planned obsolescence and the like in other videos, but that's not what's happening here because it's only affecting the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus and SE. This is a ridiculous issue and not one I ever imagined having to deal with. This should be able to be activated without updating the phone. That's a basic right as an owner of the phone, or at least you would think so. And yet that doesn't seem to be the case here. To my knowledge and extensive search, Apple has never released a statement as to why they've blocked these phones from activation. So I can only speculate. From what I've found, this issue rose in early 2018. As many know, Apple controls what software can be installed on the phone, down to the version. Again, like activation, it's based on the phone contacting a server to get certain files and approval for the restore process to work. It's been proven that some software updates have had a detrimental impact on the performance of older devices, in what could be an attempt to force people to upgrade phones. In January of 2018, around the same time as this issue surfaced, what I can only assume was a rogue employee high enough up at Apple changed something to allow the downgrading of devices to many different versions of iOS. Thousands of people flocked to get their devices running the older software as fast as they could. It only ran for an hour or so before Apple shut it all down again. But it seems in an attempt to stop people who had downgraded their devices, they blocked activation like what we've seen with Josh's iPhone 6S. It's believed that when Apple lifted the block that they had temporarily put in place, they accidentally left the 6S blocked. But what are the chances of that? Well, after this incident, they did leave iOS 6 available for downgrade for the iPad 2 and iPhone 4S models. That was until realizing it years later and shutting it off. The only other rumor surrounding this is that iOS 9 contained a regulatory violation apparently around the antenna emittance that affected devices with the A9 processor. With it apparently not having been fixed to a later version of the software, the older versions were essentially switched off and the devices running the software bricked. Honestly, that'd be a fair call if the phone didn't meet some safety regulation, but it's hard to be understanding when there was never any information given on Apple's part. And with the several layers of development that goes into these devices, You'd think they would have ensured regulatory compliance before releasing the phone, but I suppose mistakes are always possible. Either way, it left users with brick devices. 
It should be noted Samsung did a similar thing with its Galaxy Note 7 phones that were catching fire. In order to stop people from using the phone, they issued a series of updates to inform customers of the issue and later limit the charge capacity. The key difference is they said why they were doing it. But with it being an Android phone, you could have just downgraded the software to remove the limit or flash different software altogether. But if Apple did this for some valid reason, why has nothing ever been said about it? Why were they not questioned when devices suddenly stopped working? The truth is, I just don't think anyone large enough has voiced concern about the issue. So that's why I'm making this video. Let's help out Josh and the iPhone 6s and SE owners stuck with brick devices because of this. Hopefully it just turns out to be a bug that went unfixed for many years. I've made videos like this in the past, when the iPhone 12 cameras didn't work after replacement, or the iPhone 13 that disabled Face ID after a screen replacement, both of which were fixed after media coverage. So share this around because it's the only hope for people with these bricked iPhones. Having paid for these devices, they should be allowed to use them no matter the version of software. I still have one, unbricked, as I never connected it to the internet, but I know people who have. Within seconds, there's Ping's Apple and reboots, bricking itself. The easy fix is to accept the problem and update to iOS 15. And while that might be a thing you would do, not everyone is willing to. And of course, I'm not gonna do that because then I lose iOS 9 and this whole purchase was pointless. And why should they? It's their phone and their choice. Maybe they wanna have the slide to unlock function or a fast device not bogged down by newer software, or even just run software incompatible with newer versions of iOS. Additionally, these phones could be owned by people who aren't technologically inclined, who frankly don't care about updates, but got locked out of their phone and don't know what to do. If you happen to still have a working one and it's jailbroken, you can actually save your activation tickets, which are located in a folder called Lockdown. How ironic. At the end of the day, there shouldn't be any reason not to be able to downgrade the software. Many Android devices support this basic function and maintain security doing so, requiring the bootloader to be unlocked first, something you need the device password for, preventing anyone from downgrading to utilize vulnerabilities in the previous versions of the software. Besides, you can freely downgrade your PC from Windows 11 to Windows 10, so why not your phone? Unfortunately, there is no official source I could find explaining the reason behind the decision. But could it be a mistake? Certainly. But if no one jumps up and down about it, it might never get fixed, or they might never say why. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the playlist on tech that's not what it seems. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.